from around the globe. It's the Cube with digital coverage of AI Ops Virtual Forum, brought to you by Broadcom. Welcome back to the AI Ops Virtual Forum. Lisa Martin here with Srinivasan Rajagopal, the head of products and strategy at Broadcom. Raj, welcome. Good to be here, Lisa. I'm excited for our conversation. So I wanted to dive right into a term that we hear all the time, operational excellence, right? We hear it in, in, everywhere in marketing, et cetera. But why is it so important to organizations as they head into 2021? And tell us how AI ops as a platform can help. Yeah, th thank you. First off, I want to uh, I want to welcome our viewers back, and uh, I'm very excited to uh, to share um, more info on this topic. You, you know, uh, here's what we believe as we work with large organizations. We see all our organizations are poised to get out of the uh, the pandemic and look for. Uh, growth for their own business and helping customers uh, get through this tough time. So fiscal year 2021, we believe is going to be a combination of uh, you know resiliency and agility at the at the same time. So operational excellence is critical because the the business has become more digital, right? There are going to be three things that are going to be more sticky. Uh, you know, remote work is going to be more sticky. Um, cost savings and efficiency is going to be an imperative for organizations. And the continued acceleration of digital transformation of enterprises at scale is going to be in reality. So when you put all these three things together as a, uh, as a team that is, uh, you know, that's working behind the scenes to help the businesses succeed, operational excellence is going to be make or break for organizations. Raj, with that said, if we kind of strip it down to the key capabilities, what are those key capabilities that companies need to be looking for in an AI ops solution? Yeah, you know, so first and foremost, AI ops means many things to many, many folks. So let's uh, take a moment to simply uh, define it. The way we define AI ops is it's a system of intelligence. Uh, human augmented system that brings together full visibility across app, infra, and network elements that brings together disparate data sources and provides actionable intelligence and uniquely offers intelligent automation. Now, the, the analogy many folks draw is the self-driving car, right? I mean, we are in, in the world of Teslas. Uh, but yeah, you know, but self-driving data center is is still far away, right? Autonomous systems are still far away. However, you, you know, application of AI ML techniques to help deal with volume, velocity, veracity of information uh, is is critical. So that's how we look at AI ops, and some of the key capabilities that we uh, that we uh, that we work with our customers to help them are around four areas, right? First one is eyes and ears, what we call full stack observability. If you do not know what is happening in your systems, uh, you know that that serve up your business services, it's going to be pretty hard to do anything uh, in terms of responsiveness, right? So full stack observability. The second piece is what we call actionable insights. So when you have disparate data sources tool sprawls, data coming at you from, uh, you know, uh, from uh, database systems, IT systems, customer management systems, ticketing systems. How do you find the needle from the haystack? And how do you respond rapidly from a myriad of problems, a sea of red? The third area is what we call intelligent automation. Well, identifying the problem to act on is important and then acting on automating that and creating a, a recommendation system where uh, you, know, you can be proactive about it is even more important. And finally, all of this focuses on efficiency. What about effectiveness? Effectiveness comes when you create a feedback loop, when what happens in production is relayed to your support systems and your developers so that they can respond rapidly. So we call that continuous feedback. So these are the four key capabilities that 
uh, you know, uh, you should look for in an AI ops system. And that's what we offer as well. All right, Raj, so there's four key capabilities that businesses need to be looking for. I'm wondering how those help to align business and IT. It's again, like operational excellence, it's something that we talk about a lot, is the alignment of business and IT. A lot more challenging, easier said than done, right? But I want you to explain how can AI ops help with that alignment and align IT outputs to business outcomes? Yeah, so you know, one of the things, uh, I'm going to say something that is, uh, that, that is uh, that is simple, but 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 this harder. But alignment is not on systems. Alignment is with people, right? So when people align, when organizations align, when cultures align, uh, dramatic things can happen. So in the context of AI ops, we see when when SREs align with the DevOps engineers and information architects and uh, uh, you, you know IT operators. Uh, you know, they enable organizations to reduce the gap between intent and outcome or output and outcome. That said, uh, you know, these personas need mechanisms to help them better align, right? Help them better visualize, see the, you know, what we call single source of truth, right? So there are four key things that I want to call out. When we work with large enterprises, we find that customer journey alignment with the you know what we call IT systems is critical. So, how do you understand your business imperatives and your customer journey goals, whether it is car to uh, purchase or whether it is uh, you know bill shock scenarios and so on? Alignment on customer journey to your IT systems is one area that you can reduce uh, the uh, the gap. The second area is how do you create a scenario where your teams can find problems before your customers do, right? Outage scenarios and so on. So that's the second area of alignment. The third area of alignment is how can you measure business impact driven services, right? There are several services that an organization offers as an IT system. Some services are more critical to the business uh, than others. And these change in a dynamic environment. So how do you how do you understand that? How do you measure that? And how how do you find the gaps there? So that, that's the third area of alignment that we that we help. And last but not least, there are there are things like NPS scores and others that that help understand alignment. But th those are more long term. But in the in the context of uh, you know operating uh, digitally, uh, you want to use customer experience and business uh, you know a single business outcome as a, as a key alignment factor, and then work with your systems of engagement and systems of interaction along with your key personas to create that alignment. It's a people process technology challenge, actually. So Raj, one of the things that you said there is that it's imperative for the business to find a problem before a customer does. And you talked about outages there. That's always a goal for businesses, right? To prevent those outages. How can AI ops help with that? Yeah, so, you know, outages uh, talk, uh, you know, go to resiliency of a system, right? And they also go to, uh, you, you know, uh, agility of the same system. You know, uh, if you're a customer and if you're whipping up your mobile uh, app and it takes more than, you know, three uh, milliseconds, uh, you, you know, you're probably losing that uh, customer, right? So outages mean different things. You know, and there's an interesting website called downdetector.com that actually tracks all the outages of publicly available services, whether it's your bank or your, uh, you know, tele te telecom service or a mobile service and so on and so forth. In fact, the key question around outages for, from, uh, from uh, you know, executives are the question of, are you ready, right? Are you ready to respond to the needs of your customers and your business? Are you ready to uh, rapidly resolve an issue that is impacting customer experience and therefore satisfaction? Are you creating a digital trust system where customers can be, you know, um, uh, you, you know, customers can feel that their information is secure when they transact with you? All of these get into the notion of resiliency and outages. Now, you know, one of the things that uh, that I I often uh, you know work with customers around, you know, that we find is the radius of impact is important when you deal with outages. What I mean by that is problems occur, 
right? How do you respond? How quickly do you take two seconds, two minutes, 20 minutes, two hours, 20 hours, right? To resolve that problem, that radius of impact is important. That's where, you know, you have to bring again, people process technology together to solve that. And the key thing is you need a system of intelligence that can aid your teams, you know, look at the same set of parameters so that you can respond faster. That's the key here. But as we look at, at digital transformation at scale, Raj, how does AI ops help influence that? You, you know, um, I'm going to take a slightly long-winded way to answer this question. See, when it comes to digital transformation at scale, the focus on business purpose and business outcome becomes extremely critical. And then the alignment of that to your digital supply chain, right? Are the, are the, are the key factors that differentiate winners in the in their digital transformation game, really. What we have seen uh, with, with winners is they operate very differently. Like for example, uh, you, you know, Nike measures its digital business outcomes by shoes per second, right? Uh, Apple by iPhones per minute, Tesla by model threes per month. Are you getting the, getting it right? I mean, you want to have a clear business outcome, which is a measure of your business uh, in effect. I mean, Etsy, right? Which which uh, um, my daughter <laughs> use and I use very well, right? Uh, you, you know, uh, they measure by revenue per hour, right? I mean, so these are key measures. And when you have a key business outcome measure like that, you can align everything else. Because you know what, these measures, uh, you know, uh, for a bank, it may be deposits per month, right? Now, when you move money from checking account to savings account, or when you de uh, do direct deposits, those are, you know, banks need liquidity and so on and so forth. But you know, the, the key thing is that single business outcome has a starburst effect inside the IT organization that touches a single money movement from checking account to savings account can touch about 75 disparate systems internally, right? So those think about it, right? I mean, all, all you, we are doing is moving money from checking account to savings account. Now that goes into a IT production system. There are several applications. There is a database. There is there are infrastructures. There are load balancers. There are webs, you know, you know the web server components, which then touches your your middleware component, which is a queuing system, right? Which then touches your transactional system, uh, and uh, you know which may be on your mainframes, what we call mobile to mainframe scenario, right? And we are not done yet. Then you have a security and regulatory compliance system that you have to touch, a fraud prevention system that you have to touch, right? A state department regulation that you may have to meet and on and on and on, right? This is the challenge that IT operation teams face. And when you have millions of customers transacting, right? Suddenly this challenge cannot be uh, you know, managed by uh, you know, human beings alone. So therefore you need a system of intelligence that augments human intelligence and acts as you, you know, you, your eyes and ears in a way to, to point, pinpoint where problems are, right? So digital transformation at scale really requires a well thought out AI ops system, a platform, an open extensible platform that um, you know uh, that is heterogeneous in nature because there is tools sprawl in organizations. There is uh, you know a lot of databases in systems. There are millions of uh, uh, you know customers and hundreds of partners and vendors you know making up that digital supply chain. So you know AI ops is at the center of an enabling an organization achieve digital op you know transformation at scale. Last but not least, you need continuous feedback loop. Continuous feedback loop is the ability for a production system to inform your DevOps teams, your finance teams, your customer experience teams, your cost modeling teams about what is going on, say that they can, so that they can reduce the intent to outcome gap. All of this need to come together, what we call biz ops for IT ops. 
that was a great example of how you talked about the starburst effect. I actually never thought about it in that way when you gave the banking example. But what you showed is the magnitude of systems, the fact that people alone really need help with that and why intelligent automation and AI ops can be transformative and enable that scale. Raj, it's always a pleasure to talk with you. Thanks for joining me today. Great to be here. And we'll be right back with our next segment.